to share with you guys my makeup collection. Ayan. So, not no one has requested this. No one. But kanina habo na vlog ako. Bina nagtanong ako sa inyo kung ganun ba talaga yung palette. Tapos pa, nasa isip ko, why why would ah, what wala na. What pa sa English trying hard si Ate. So bakit ba kasi hindi ko pinapakit sa inyo yung makeup makeup collection ko? And ayan, so gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo yung mga makeup na kinagamit ko or nabili ko for a very affordable price. I really recommend for you guys. So if you guys want to know what are the things or what are the makeup that I would recommend and in my makeup collection, please keep on watching. Without further ado, let's get started. So ayun, vlog lang tayo guys. I did a video about this makeup look and if you want to know more about this makeup look, links in the description box or you can check out my channel after you after you finish this video. So, ayun, mag-start muna tayo sa mga palette. So, ito po ang nalagyan ko ng palette. Ito. Wala akong magarang case or hindi ko siya dinidisplay sa bahay kasi hindi naman kasi araw-araw nagbe-makeup tayo. Hindi ako nagbe-makeup araw-araw. Actually, may, may klase ako so hindi ako pwede mag-makeup. Pero, yeah, nandiyan lang siya kasi pag dinisplay ko siya sa bahay, madudumihan siya na madudumihan. So, ito, hard case lang siya para hindi siya pa kahit maupuan siya or something. Pag in-open mo siya, ito yung una-una. Ito yung itsura niya sa loob. Una-una ko ipapakita is Nichido. This is the Nichido Final Powder in the shade Creamy Glow. Ayan. So, yun. Recommended ko rito sa inyo, guys. Sana na pa nasistart pa lang kayo gumawa ng makeup looks or makeup videos. Ayan. This is one of the best setting powder. Na-recommend lang to sa akin ni Ate Anne Fruits. And I will recommend it to you guys again. Kasi sobrang ganda talaga ng powder na to. I am in the shade Creamy Glow. Ayan. So, next is the Insta Runway Ready Contour Kit. Ito yung siguro isa sa mga makeup ko na hindi ko marerecommend sa inyo. Yung formula niya is mm, that's one of the worst. Ayan, kasi alam ko sobrang hype nito kasi sobrang mura. But guys, ako lang ba? Ako lang ba ang ganto na nasira ko yung palette? Like, ang dami kong videos na na nagamit ko tong palette. Don't get me wrong. I think it's great. Pero if you would like use it for every day, tapos Araw-araw mo talaga siyang ginagamit. Nasira talaga siya, guys. Ano na, um, nasa bag lang to. Hindi to lang to sa hard case ko. Nasira siya. I have no idea bakit siya nasira. But, ayan yung highlight. Ito yung bronzer. I don't know why, pero nasira siya. So, I wouldn't recommend it to you guys kung gusto niya talaga yung something na magagamit for every single day. And I think the formula is too soft para magamit siya for every single day. So, next is I have this Fashion 21 Color Bar. This is a number 2. Ata to, 2 or something. Basta ito yung earth colors. Ayan. Or an earth tones siya. So, totally recommendable. Just keep it in mind na medyo ano to, medyo sparkly, sparkly yung color niya. This is, this has an overspray sa ibabaw. Kaya medyo pag ginagam siya, ay glittery. No, it's not. Overspray lang siya. Pag ginagam siya, it's matte. Just like my eye look today. Ito yung ginamit ko sa eye look ko. So, so next is I have an Ashley Color Eyelash. This is an eyelash from Ashley. Actually, recommendable ko to. Kasi sobrang mura niya lang. Yung ganda nung style. Oh, sorry, but ko ba kasi binuksan? Kasi nag-glare. Ayan, ganyan yung style niya. This is in Mon Mon 4. So next is I have the Balm Cosmetics, the Bahama Mama 3-in-1. And ito yung ginagamit kong bronzer as of now. Tsaka highlight. Ito yung itura niya. So, this I use for bronzer, and this is for contour, and this is for the highlight that I use today. So next is I have the Everbelena, Everbelena Pink Eyeshadow Palette. Ito ang ganda ng palette to guys. Ito yung ginamit ko sa inner corner ko, tsaka dun sa, dun sa loob. Ayan, yung ginamit ko, and sobrang ganda dito. So I So next, meron pa ako isa pang Fashion 21 na palette. This is the Fashion 21 Color Bar. Ayan yung itsura niya. This is... Ito yung palette na ginamit ko para sa blush ko today dahil meron siya. Ito siyang dalawang color na pang blush. So, ito, hindi ko gets bakit may blue dyan. Kasi, guys, blue. Tapos, puti lang yung brown. So, hindi ko talaga gets paano gagamitin tong palette na to. But this is how it looks like. Ginagamit ko siya pag kailangan ko lang specific na ganyang kulay. For example, itong coral. But, ayan, more ay Ginagamit ko siya more sa blush. Elf palette. This is the Elf Matte for Matte palette. The original. Mad for mad. Ito yung pinakamahal kong... Um, ito. So, yun. So, ito 
Ang Mad of Mad for Mad Palette. This retails for 560. So, ito yung pinakamahal kong palette. And, and for 10 eyeshadow, this is totally recommendable. Ito yung palette na sinasabi ko sa inyo na totally marirecommend ko kasi this is only 399 So, bali 400 siya for 23 colors. All matte. Pares lang silang all matte itong elf which is better. Pero, 23 colors kasi to guys. And, ito yung number 2 na palette. Meron siyang number 1 na puro siya Ano lang, puro lang siya browns. So, if you would like something na puro brown lang, tapos 23 and 400 pesos lang guys, pet ko na to. Meron siyang mga brown, pero konti lang kasi, four colors lang yung brown niya. And, ayun, so, so next, the last three palettes that I have are atong original palette ko. This is the Caroline Eyeshadow 12 Shades. Hindi na to binabenta ngayon, so sad, pero this is one of the best palette na nagamit ko dati. Kasi for 12 shades, this is retails for 125 pesos. And sobrang pigmented ng shade niya. Nasira ko na siya. So, ayun. Sana binibenta pa nila to. Caroline, kung nakikinig ko nga, please, ibenta niyo ulit to. Kasi sobrang ganda ng palito. No? I would totally recommend it to you guys kung binibenta pa kasi wala. So, next is atong LOL. Atong LOL Cosmetics, ang problem lang dito is sobrang soft, sobrang lambot ng formula niya na Nasisira agad yung eyeshadow. Ayan. Nakikita nyo ba yung gray? Ayan. Nakatape siya. <laughs> Dahil nasisira yung eyeshadow. Bumubukas siya dun sa case. And nagkakalat sa lahat ng palettes ko. So, nakatape siya pag ginagamit ko. Tapos natanggalin ko. Tapos pag ginamit ko na, napapalik ko yung tape. So, maganda to. But I wouldn't recommend it kung parang, ano kayo, traveler kayo. Kasi, masisira to sa makeup bag nyo. Trust me. And, the last palette that I have is, this is the Shawel Makeup. Fantasy 5 Eyeshadow in the shade 004. Ito yung may browns pa din. I'm more on browns talaga. Pero isa lang yung palette ko na may kulay, which is the Rika. So, ito, meron siyang brown, tsaka green. So, um, pwede na. Ito yung palette na medyo mahal. This retails for 220 pesos. Tapos, pwede na siya. Pagsasagaan, pero hindi siya best. So, ayun yung mga palette ko. So, next is, papakita ko naman yung mga um, foundations, eyeliners, pencils, tapos, ayun. Basta lahat ng di nakapalit, papakita ko sa inyo. So, yung hindi ko mga palit is nakalagay lang sa pouch na to. Dati, ito lang lahat, lahat ng makeup ko. As in, cash na dito lahat. But kayo, hindi na talaga. So, dito na lang yung mga hindi ko palit. I mean, tama, hindi ko palit. So, yung first ko yung papakita is foundation. Kasi mga foundation ko. So, I have two foundations right now. Ito, pares tong may review sa channel ko. So, ililink ko yung um, video niya down below in the description box or dito sa card sa taas or here. So, check that out after this video. This is the Detail Makeover Liquid Foundation and the, the Maybelline Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. So, please check out my video. So, next is, wala akong concealer kasi nawala yung concealer ko. Natigay isang concealer lang yun. So, ang next thing mapakita is mascara. So, I have four mascaras right here, guys. So, dalawa dito, tuyo na siya. Tapos, dalawa is pwede pang gamitin. Atong dalawa yung tuyo. This is the Maybelline Mask Hyper Curl Volume Express Mascara. Hindi ko pa siya dito tinatapon kasi hindi wala pa akong Maybelline kapalit. Tapos, itong Max Factor Velvet Volume Fall Slash Effect Mascara. Ito, tuyo na rito. Pero, ginagamit ko siya pang ano ng kilay ko. Dalawa naman na to. This is the two mascara na ginagamit ko. Hindi pa siya tuyo. So, okay. Itong Unique Transplanting Gel. Ang problem ko lang dito is um, magdidikit yung lashes ko pag ginamit ko siya sa upper lash at sa lower lash, which is nakakairit, ha? So, hindi ko ito ginagamit ng ito lang. Kasi hinahaluan ko ng ganito. Ito naman ginamit ko for today pag, para magmukhang mahaba yung lashes ko. So, these are the two lash, um, uh, mascara na ginagamit ko ngayon. Dalawang pakete dito. This is the Eye by Korea um, Aqua Moisturizing. Ginagamit ko sa makeup bag ko to kasi ginagamit ko to every time I do someone's makeup or I do my own makeup. Ginagamit ko to pag mag-moisturize, of course. Kasi ito naman yung ginamit, ginagamit kong base for everyday or parang yung makeup, imi-makeupan ko is natural look lang. So, ito yan. So, ito dalawa yun. Ito na yung so, ito yung mga pencils ko. Hindi ko mahalap yung iba, pero let's start with this. This is the Shawel Eyeliner Pencil. And dual-ended siya. Merong white and merong black. 
So, ginagamit ko yung white pag mag-Korean style ako and yung black pag mag-Thailand. So, next is meron akong Momo Sona pang kilay in the shade Coffee Brown ata ito. Naubos ko na ito. But, ang ganda ng shade niya, guys. Medyo light siya sa kilay ko which is totally great. So, meron akong dalawang pencil dito na hindi ko marerecommend kasi nabili ko lang po sa bayan. Andito lang siya. Hindi ko alam bakit. Kasi hindi naman akin to. Naiwan lang sa akin. Pinaka-classic ko. And I have no right to throw it away. So, ayan. Ito siya. Black siya. Pares black. Ginagamit niya kasi ito pang kilay. Kasi mas strip niya yung dark eyebrows. So, ayan yung kulay niya. Tapos, meron ako dalawang eyeliner dito na hindi Marerecommend ko yung set yung isa, hindi. Both of these are from Bobbi Cosmetics. This is the Bobbi Cosmetics I Love It na um, eyeliner. This is a felt tip eyeliner. Ang problem lang dito is wala nang pigment yung dulo niya. Ayan. Pero yung pagilid niya meron. Ayan. Ito naman isa. This is the Baby Doll Eyes felt tip eyeliner as well. This is also from Bobbi Cosmetics. Mas maganda to. This retails for $150. Ito, 199. Mas maganda to. Alam nyo bakit? Kasi, mas pigmented yung dulo. Ayan. Kesa sa gitna. Ang problem lang dito is, medyo, um, kumakapal yung dulo. Tapos, ito yung dalawang best eyebrow pencil na nahanap ko. This is from Ever Belena. This is the perfect eyebrow in the shade dark brown. Wala siya ngayon kasi hindi ko yung siya kinagamit. Pero, and magkasobrang ganda ito. This retails for 60 pesos lang. Ito naman, yung L4 Eyebrow Pencil. 88 pesos for 3 um, product. Uh, meron na siya na sa barrel. Tapos meron pa siyang dalawang refill. So, this is for 88 pesos. Nabili ko to sa Daiso. Sa, ano, dark lang siya tingnan. Ito, bilay ko yun. Dark siya tingnan. So, hindi ko ito masyadong ginagamit. Here's next ko. 3 or 4. Liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks, lip blush, and lip tint. So, four categories siya. So, let's start with the liquid lipsticks. I have the Caroline Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Upper Hand. And also the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Athens. Next, next is the, li the lipsticks talaga. So, I have here four. That's fine. So, oh, madami. I have here six, six lipsticks. Because I'm using so many lipsticks. Because it's a liquid lipsticks. So this is from Chawal Cosmetics, the Green Lover Edition in the shade 007. Medyo orange siya. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Kato yung kulay niya. <laughs> Sobrang pigmented demo, pero hindi siya matte. Medyo gloss. It's not Max in the shade 03. Ito yung shade niya. Ito matte na light pink. Next is the Nichido Juicy Lips in the shade Tangerine Pop. Upos na to, pero try na. So, ito yung shade niya. Sorry, kasi kinukutok ko lang. So, ito yung yung shade niya. Medyo orange siya. This is the Ashley Beauty Lipstick Velvet Finish in the shade 3 as well. Medyo red. Sorry guys, palakad ako. Tsipa ko sa lipid ko. That, that's fine. That's my father naman. So I have two lipsticks here from Maybelline. This is in the shade Divine Wine and So Nude. Itong So Nude muna. Itong So Nude Gloss. Ito lang ganda ng color niya. Ano na nga lang siya? Glossy. Tapos itong Divine Wine. Ito yung favorite kong lipstick. Kapapasin niyo, more on reds and ano, reds and oranges. So, I have two lip crayons here. So, ayun, meron pa pala isang category, lip crayons. This is lip, lip crayons from Ashley. And para sila ng style. So, ito yung first shade. Metallic. Metallic yung shade niya. Next is this shade na medyo for everyday. 
for everyday lash. My lip my lip balm with tint. So this is the baby lips. I don't know the shade. Ano siyang shade? Ano siyang shade? This ito naman is the Nature Dog Lip Blush in the shade Paul from Queen. Just watch out it though. Ayan lang color niya. May tint siya. So, ginagamit ko siya pag ayoko mag-lip tint at gusto ko magkaroon ng kulay. So, lastly, from my makeup collection, this is the Etude House Dear Darling Tint and Bobby Cosmetics Pretty in tint. This is in the shade Bit Shed, and ito hindi ko alam. Let's swatch it as well. So, the yung shade nito. Ooh. And red as well. And paubos na siya, guys. Ayan na lang siya. Ito namang Bit Shed is medyo orange. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. So, Subscribe now to my channel, Iris Moseda, and don't forget to watch my review of these two products. These are the foundation, Simon Moseda, and review, and it will be in the description box as well as my social media platform. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and add me on Facebook. It will be also in the description box. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye!